Hey guys, it's me. It's Queen Arsette Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you have time, please pass this video on to somebody else who may want to see it. Give it a thumbs up. It's free. <laughs> please give it a thumbs up. And if you have time, please comment a positive comment in the comment section. Make everybody's day much brighter. Okay. All right, guys. So today I wanted to talk to you about something because I was watching one of my favorite Buddhist monks. Now you guys know I'm not Buddhist. I'm actually a priestess of my yacht. But I read and look at things from a lot of different spiritual systems. Very fascinating to me. And a lot of things that we talk about are very, very similar. They just have different names. So Buddhism is one of my favorite things to read things from. Some of you guys already know that. I love Buddha. I love a lot of stuff that Buddhism stands for. We don't agree on everything. A couple points here and there. But 95% of it, I really do like it. I love to read stuff about it and from their holy men and holy women. So one of my favorites is a man named, a monk named Ajahn Brahm. Some of you have already heard me talk about Ajahn Brahm because when I was going through a very difficult time in my life, I would listen to his talks every day before work. And Ajahn Brahm kept a lot of people from getting beat up. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> he really did. He kept me out of jail. <laughs> and he kept quite a few people from me knocking them in the head. And I just, I loved his energy. I loved how relaxed and how calm and how kind and how peaceful he was i was like who is this man where'd they get him from so i would just listen to him talk because his voice was very soothing to me and he helped me to see things from a different perspective you know he helped me to see that the people around me that were making me miserable were only really in my mind because it was the way I was perceiving it and the way I was taking it in. And it really gave me a different perspective, you know, because when you're in a bad situation, you feel like you're being victimized, right? We all do. But if you flip things around, sometimes if you look at it from a different perspective, you can see where the little blessings are, even in a bad situation. Is propelling you forward. It's making you make changes. You know, there's sometimes something there that you can identify in that way. And listening to this old Buddhist monk was helping me through that hellish situation. So recently, I decided that I was going to listen to some of his current work since I haven't heard much of it. And um, I've been working a lot on my chakras, specifically the heart chakra and I always, you know, as an Aquarius, you know, we have issues with our feelings. So I try to work with my heart chakra and my sacral chakra and get them to really be open so I can really be in tune with my feelings and then able to help other people and deal with other people's feelings. Because some of the times Aquarius be like, whoa, all these feelings. So I'm always trying to help myself in that area. So I decided to listen to Ajahn Brahm and I've been listening to his talks every day and I heard him say something that I never heard him say before. And I absolutely love this because I want to tell you guys about it because every day I get letters and messages and inboxes and DMs from men and women who are basically having this issue. And as soon as I heard him say it, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh God, is I have got to go tell my subscribers about this because Ajahn Brahm is 100% correct. I get a lot of messages from people who are in relationships, as you guys know. And this little story that Ajahn Brahm, this quick story that Ajahn Brahm said, wrapped it all up, okay? So I'm going to read it to you and then we're going to talk about what it means. And some people will find some help with this. Some people will already know this. <laughs> some people may use this later on down the line. So just check this out, okay? Ajahn Brahm said that most people's relationships are like bacon and eggs, okay? 
So you're like, bacon and eggs? <laughs> like, like, how does that go together? He said it's like bacon and eggs because it's the same as the difference between bacon and eggs. And bacon and eggs, the pig is committed. The chicken is only involved. And when he said that, it clicked in my head. I was like, wow. So he was talking about relationships. And a lot of us are or have been in relationships where we were committed. Think about the pig versus the chicken. The chicken is given an egg. The chicken is very involved. This is the chicken's baby, you know, and the chicken is giving up their egg. But the pig has given his or her life. Many of us are in relationships like this. Many of us are in relationships where one of us is committed. I mean, we're giving our life for it. And the other one is just involved. So the involved party is giving something, but not as much as the one who's committed. And so if your relationship is like bacon and eggs, if, you're, if you've given your behind for it and the other person is just throwing up an egg every once in a while, your relationship is not balanced. And that's why a lot of people who hit me up and email me and write me, a lot of them are in this kind of relationship. They are committed while the other person is just involved. Remember, a lot of people get involved for different reasons. And a lot of times those reasons have nothing to do with the other person. A lot of people get involved in situations because it's best for them because it's a smooth situation for them or something along those lines. It's good for them. It's lucrative for them in some way. So here they are involved because, you know, it's good for them, you know, and they might even give a little something, something here and there like the egg. But here you are a hundred percent committed, committed to the point where you've given your life for this situation. You've come to the table, you've come to the plate and given your life. And this person is just involved. A lot of people I talk to, a lot of my subscribers, a lot of the readings that I do, this is what comes up. And that's why I wanted to talk about it today because I see it so often. Don't commit to a person who's only involved. If you're giving your backside and all they're giving is an egg, it's not equally yoked. <laughs> it's not balanced properly. You see what I mean? So you're giving too much and they're giving too little. In order for a relationship between two people, no matter what the relationship is, mother, daughter, husband, wife, no matter what the relationship is, husband, husband, wife, wife, if the two people are not both committed, then the relationship is not going to be satisfying, for, especially for the one who is committed. Another thing I've noticed from his analogy is that sometimes you find two people who are both just given an egg. It's no bacon at all. <laughs> these, these people are vegetarians. You know, there's no pork on the table. These two are both giving an egg. So they're both involved. Many of us have done this. I've done this many times. So we're both just involved, you know? And it's the emptiest relationship in the world because you're involved, but there's no real commitment. There's nothing really tangible. There's nothing that is locking you two together most of the time it's just fun and it's just a sex act most of the time maybe a little fun here and there a little laughing a little talking here and there but it's basically just a sex act so we're involved we're both just giving an egg we're both just involved so my thing to you is based on what brahm had to say is that if you want to be in a situation with a lover 
male, female, whatever, or, you know, if you're polyamorous and you have more than one, whatever the case is, everybody has to come to the table as bacon. Everybody has to come ready to be committed. Because if not, you're going to get this imbalance and you're going to find yourself resentful and you're going to find yourself hurt and angry because you've given, you've committed to someone who was only involved. And if you've been in this situation or if you are in this situation, you got to be honest with yourself. You know, one of the things that happens when we're in love, especially we're not very honest with ourselves. We tell ourselves a lot of lies. We tell ourselves things to make ourselves feel better <laughs> because if we told ourselves the truth, then we wouldn't be able to keep making the same stupid mistakes that we're making over and over in the name of love. That's not love. If you're committed and they're just involved, that's not love. Because nine times out of 10, if they're just involved, they're holding back. They're holding back for a reason. Either they're emotionally unavailable or something. There's some reason they don't know if the relationship is right for them. They're uncertain about their feelings. There's so many reasons for this. But it's one of these reasons. They're fearful, but they're holding back. And you're giving your all. So you're going to become exhausted with the effort after a while. And it's unfair to you because you never know are they ever going to be more than just involved? So many people come to me and say this to me. They're, they're so committed to the person. They're, they love the person. They, you know, they ride and they're like, yo, queen, this is the best guy. This is the best girl. This is the, this is the greatest person I know. Like, they got such good potential. And, you know, they are riding for them, you know. And they want to have a great relationship. And, and they're, you know, talking to me about, you know, wanting to move forward in a lot of cases. As far as, like, commitment and things like that. Wanting to have a family. Wanting to buy a house and go to the Hamptons on the weekends, you know? People are coming to me wanting these wonderful things, but they're coming with a person who's not committed. They bringing me a damn egg. I can't do nothing with that egg. <laughs> I can't do nothing with that egg if you really want somebody that's going to be committed to you. You can't accept an egg. So... If you want a relationship where you're both committed, don't accept an egg. Tell them, thank you for the egg, but I'm good. And move on till you find someone who's willing to put their behind on the line the same way you are. Until you find that, whoever you come across is never going to be good enough. Whoever you come across is just a substitute teacher. And there's no point wasting your time if you know what you really want is bacon. Don't settle for eggs when you really want bacon. That's what I'm saying. Because a person that's just involved, you know, they might come around. One day they may say, you know what, that's it. I'm going to stop giving her eggs. I'm going to stop giving him eggs. I'm ready to give up some bacon. They might come around, but they might not. And I've talked several times this week about, you know, the imbalance and commitment. But when Brahm said this to me, I was like, I got to tell my subscribers, stop fooling with them eggs. Okay. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else that's messing around with them eggs. <laughs> And tell him I said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. That's not how we get what we want. Okay? The way to get what you want is to go after exactly what you want and don't settle for just something that somebody wants to hand you. Okay? If you would like to get a reading, please email me. If you want to chat with me, all my information is underneath here. If you want to check out my cool new merchandise, <laughs> all those links are under here as well. 
and you can send me a gift if you want to because it is Christmas and gifts are my love language as a matter of fact I take gifts all year long so yeah <laughs> my Amazon wish list is underneath there my PayPal is underneath there and every way that I mentioned before to contact me on social media all right guys see you later